So when we think about how likely it is that a big asteroid or comet will hit the Earth, we're constantly getting struck with small things all the time. Um, so each year we'll get a good bit of material coming to Earth, small meteorites, but bigger material, um, things that we kind of are worried about, like over a few hundred meters in diameter, typically over 140 meters in diameter, we tend to be concerned about. But these don't happen very often, so perhaps tens or hundreds of thousands of years. So these are quite rare. So that's the kind of time scales that we'd be expecting. And then for bigger things, um, like causing the extinction of the dinosaurs, that's hundreds of millions of year time scales. Hi, my name is Gavin Kenny. I'm a researcher at Nata Ristoriska Rixmuseet. And most of my research involves meteorites and impact craters where asteroids collide with the Earth. To cause a mass extinction, uh, that, such as the wiping out of the dinosaurs, that was a very big impact. But an also an important thing for the effects there was what rocks it hit. So the rocks that were struck in what is now Mexico were rich in um, sulfur and carbon that when released to the atmosphere caused uh, the equivalent of climate change, basically it was climate change. Um, so that was why that was so catastrophic and caused an extinction. So if you if an impact hits different type of rocks, it might not be as catastrophic. So there are a few different organizations which monitor um, bodies that, uh, like asteroids or comets that might potentially come to Earth and be cause trouble. Uh, and these are called, we call them near Earth objects, so NEOs. And there are thousands of these known. In the last 20 or so years, we've come to know and monitor thousands of these. And then sometimes they're called potentially hazardous objects if they are over about 140 meters in size and if their orbit, so the way they go around the sun, if that crosses Earth's orbit. So if they fulfill those two criteria, they're called potentially hazardous objects and they're ones that we watch more. And right now, there aren't many that we think are gonna strike anytime soon, but there is, for example, one asteroid um, that we think is the most likely that might in the next couple of hundred years and that is a we say a cumulative probability so over the next two three hundred years uh, so the chances that it might strike at any time um, in those few hundred years are approximately one in one thousand seven hundred and fifty so some people have come up with this this uh, probability that it might strike and that's still very rare so it's, it's really unlikely that it will strike earth so this is, but it's good that someone out there is monitoring these things.